Hello everyone. Today I'm going to update one of my old PHP packages to work with newer versions of PHP. I'm guessing it works all right, but um, I need to update it to kind of bring up, bring forward some of the dependencies it's using. And the reason I'm doing this is uh, you might be familiar with another video series I'm doing right now on updating a website to Drupal 10. And this package is actually used in that uh, in that application. So if I need to bring that, if I want to bring that to Drupal 10, I need to update this package as well to uh, bring forward some dependencies. So that's why I'm recording this and I hope this is uh, this proves to be useful. So this package is called uh, Drupal API Client. And uh, I, I wrote this about uh, seven years back. I think it was 2016, January or so. Um, so it, it's, it's roughly about uh, seven years, I think, more than that. And I wrote this for a hackathon style project. Uh, it was a Laravel based app, so that's why it's a PHP package. And uh, now it's uh, kind of used in other applications as well. So like I said, the Drupal website that I'm updating, it's called Contrib Tracker. It tracks contributions from drupal.org. And uh, so that's why this API client is, um, it, it's relevant for that website. You know, it's it's a wrapper to access the drupal.org API, as you can see on the on the screen right now. You can see that I've not updated it in a while. It's uh, 2020 July, so it's uh, over three years since I last updated it. You can see from the dependencies, it's quite outdated. So we are going to work our way through all the updates. So a few things that I'm going to keep in mind in this update is, um, you know, I want to keep the changes to a minimum. I don't want to break the break the API anywhere so that I don't have to change the major version of this uh, package. It's 2.0 right now. I would like to keep it to 2.0 so that I don't have to change it in every other place. You know, there are, it's, it's being used in multiple places. There is a module as well, which uses this API. And uh, one of the main reasons I'm doing this is to update the dependencies. So we'll update it in such a way that it does not break the API. So that's another thing. I also want to bring in some level of automation to make future changes easier. Um, if you, you know, we will look at the code, but uh, when you look at it, you will see that it was using Travis, which I'm not using since a long time right now. So I'm going to switch to GitHub Actions. And um, it, if you, again, if you remember, uh, if you can see from uh, this uh, packages that it's uh, relying on PHP 7.1 minimum. It's a minimum version. It works with uh, versions about that. But the minimum is 7.1, which means that uh, certain things like return type declarations and all of that, they're not perfectly working out and it's actually being reported as errors. So we'll raise it as and when we upgrade the feature. So that's something again, we'll keep in mind to keep raising the PHP version so that um, um, you, you know, so that we can move on to the newer features. Um, I might as well re raise the PHP version to 8.0 because 7.1 is nowhere near supported. But again, you know, I, I'm just like being a little conservative over here. This package is not being used by many, many dependencies. So I'm not really worried too much, but still, you know, I would like to play a little bit uh, conservatively and change the PHP version only when required. I'm, I'm certainly hoping that nobody is still running PHP 7.1. So with that, I think uh, we should get started and uh, I'll switch again to my camera and you can see the code over here. We'll take this one step at a time, uh, but before that, Let's set up our environment. The first thing I would like to do is change the branch uh, name to from master to main. Uh, I don't want to get into the discussion, uh, you know, about that right now. It's something where I'm uh, kind of um, used to main usually right now. So I'll uh, just change it to main. Uh, apart from this, we'll have to change this in a few other places. But, you know, let, let's start over here. So we'll do that. Right, I think it's uh, going to be renamed shortly. And uh, we'll run a fetch to make sure I'm going to increase the font size over here. Oops. Yep. Uh, so we'll run a fetch. Um, right. And I'm going to delete the branch master. Yeah, so now we are on main branch. One change we'll need to do over here is to update the composer JSON file. Uh, so, um, by the way, 
this i'm not sure if this is strictly required anymore because uh, from one of the blog posts i understand that the composer does not really treat this branch alias the way it used to do earlier so it might be fine but i'm just going to kind of, kind of keep it consistent and change this uh, i'm also going to just see you know if this is being used somewhere yeah okay it's used in readme.md file so i'll change that as well um yeah so yep i'm going to change that to main anything else uh fixtures we don't worry about fixtures rg is kind of like a rib grep tool it's like a very fast version of grep as you can see it's almost instant it, it scan the whole code base for uh, uh you know for occurrences of master okay so we are going to make these changes and uh, um push all right that's our first task done now we'll move um, i think the next thing that we'll do is just move over testing to travis uh, sorry from travis to github actions and um, there is a very easy way to do this so i'll just pick the easy way actions new workflow yeah <laughs> okay i was thinking of something else so it, it suggests a workflow for me i'm just going to take the php workflow okay and um, not change much over here i think uh, the latest version is 4 it's going to validate composer json and log actually this should probably fail right now but uh, let's let's keep it Composer cache, that's fine. And install dependencies, Composer install and everything. It does not have uh, matrix testing. So I would like to add that. And uh, uh, how do I do that? So um, of course, you know, we we have few scripts uh, running in, um, um, I mean, we have few scripts defined in Composer. So we're, we might as well add it. So there is a PHP CS and uh, php stand both are there and test is as well as well there you know so we'll add all of those things this actually composer.log does not exist so we don't uh, need to put that in the key i'm just going to say hash files composer.json actually no i we would want to kind of hash it every now and then because otherwise it will get completely locked to that. Okay. So we'll, we'll just keep it at this for now. And I want to add uh, testing for multiple versions of PHP. So apparently check out uh, the default Ubuntu version has PHP. But, uh, you know, let's see if we can find our answers quickly. Um, multiple php versions okay let's see yeah so runs on matrix strategy so like that's the thing that we need uh -huh. is it two spaces yeah it like yeah we don't need operating system we don't want to worry about that php versions we'll just worry about 8.0 8.1 and 8.2 yeah i see the typo <laughs> okay so we'll run on multiple php versions and uh, next we'll install php with this i just need the php version i don't want anything else so yeah so after checkout we're going to call this uh, action i'm thinking there is an updated version of this package also so i just want to make sure uh, um, i'm on the latest version here 2.26 okay so 2 is fine right uh, i think cache also there is a v4 version let's quickly check that no it's 3 and uh, let's make sure action slash checkout is actually 4 yeah, four is out. So I think we are good with uh, our file. Let's just uh, fix the names a little bit over here. 
you know we should add more features a little bit later you know things like uh, matches and everything so that will tell us where exactly it failed but for now i'm just going to commit this changes directly create uh, php.yaml is that name okay uh, add uh, github um, action workflow okay uh, conventional commit style add workflow for uh, uh, testing all right so i'll commit the changes and this will enable the action all right so we'll have our results from this soon i'm expecting it to fail fully but uh, yeah we should get started with our own um, improvement so you know one of the things that we should do is like remove travis.yaml so i'll just do this over here itself um, delete file uh, just making sure that uh, okay php cs we want to use coverage so yeah let me keep this travis file for now and um, I'm going to bring this into our, actually I can copy it straight away. Yeah. Um, like, like I said, you know, no, not, not a big surprise that it failed. So I'm just going to update the PHP uh, unit command to run with coverage text. I'm not very sure if composer does this, but, uh, Actually, I can try it out. So I'm going to, oops. Yeah, so I'm just going to run this. Ah, okay. Um, okay, yeah, this is one of the things that I need to do. Okay. Does it create a file? Okay, now the test field, I think it's not going to create the coverage file. Whew. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to get back to this. I think I'll have to make a few more changes in my composer in, uh, file itself. So let's, let's get to that. Um, I think actually it did make the change, you know. Uh, if I look at my, I can look, it's easier to see it in uh, Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to open my composer JSON and it see it has added this allow plugins PHP HTTP discovery. So let me run compose install to make sure that it's uh, not adding anything else because it's quite old and this is actually going to add on a new package, I think. Uh, so we just want to make sure. Um, yeah, okay. It does add a new package. This is what I was, uh, I've seen this before happen before. So we should commit this. So we have, yeah, oops, yeah. Let me, <laughs> uh, working with get it's kind of, okay. So now we are on, uh, our, our branches are synced. Add composer JSON and uh, Not a great message, but it works for now. So I'm going to push it. And this will probably change the test results a little bit. But um, I'm thinking that this will still largely fail. So we have that. Uh, we don't need this file open anymore. OK, so we'll, we'll continue working our way through this application. We'll look at what's failing. Uh, so let's run our command again with uh, composer test. So we have one error, unknown named parameter raw data. A search in 57 errors one. So we'll fix one error at a time. There are many deprecated uh, uh, warnings, which we should fix as well. And uh, I have something in mind for that. So we'll get to that, but let's fix the error first. So it is in, um, I'm thinking uh, if I run it over here, VS code will tell me, Okay, oh, it's a weird way. Uh, I guess VS Code is not configured to run this. So uh, let me go to the file directly. It is uh, entity collection test.php. Line 25. 
raw data okay get mock for abstract class entity collection class and uh, i'm thinking these methods are kind of outdated so entity collection if i look at that okay the name is dollar data okay this should hopefully fix the error okay so the error is fixed but we, i'm seeing like 113 assertions uh, sorry i'm seeing like a lot of deprecations that we need to fix but at least our test is uh, running for now and uh, another thing that we should really try to do is p upgrade, upgrade php unit but uh, i think it's php unit 9 right now and that's not quite bad right it's um, i just want to see what are the is the current stable version 9 it's been released or not so php unit 9 requires 7.3 okay it now uses more php 7 syntax wait wait uh, am i using php unit 9 though yeah i'm using 9 so we have uh Or maybe this is the link supported versions yeah so php unit 9 is supported uh the end of bug fix release is until uh, feb 2 2024 so i don't need to worry about it right now i'm okay i'm i should get to this at some point of time but uh you know i'm, I'm okay with php unit 9 that's that and i need to still need to fix the uh the the uh the deprecated errors so for that I'm trying to uh, switch to something called uh, Rector. Rector is a very popular package. If you are into Drupal world, you might have heard of Drupal Rector. It is based on the PHP version of uh, PHP package of the same name Rector. And I believe it can get us some way at least in terms of addressing these deprecations. So this code was targeted as 7.1 and we'll slowly bring it forward to so that you know we address all of these deprecations. So let's get started with that. And uh, we're going to switch to, um, we're, we're going to bring in Rector, first of all. So let's search for Rector, Rector PHP. And uh, we'll follow the instructions over here. So we have, uh, this is the command, composer require uh, Rector slash Rector dash dash dev. So we'll start with that. Okay. It took a long time considering that it's just uh, local. Okay, so it has installed uh, Rector. It is using version, seems little old. What's the latest version? 18.3, so why not 18.3? Yeah, why 10.17? Composer, why not? Rector slash Rector 0.18.3 Okay, because of the old version of PHP stand Which we should update as well, right? You know, so why not change that? So what's the latest PHP stand version? Uh, where is where is github just just get me to the latest version 1.10 so i'll just uh say require dash dash dev php stan i think it's php stand slash php stand oh there's a lot changed for php stand yeah it is php stand slash php stan and i'm going to say uh 1.10 that's the yeah uh, and i want to update it with all dependencies because again you know like just like drupal upgrade this also might cause an error yeah see like same thing it requires php stand but this will call later so rector is locked to version 17 but it update was not requested i am requesting an update it's uh, let me remove Rector and start again. So 
So I'm going to update PHP stand first. Okay. 1.10.34 sounds correct. So let's see our composer JSON and see if there's anything else that we should just update at the same time right now. Uh, so we have PHP stand, PHP unit. I would say that I would just like limit it to P even PHP unit. I would limit it to uh, 9.0. No option for uh, 8.0. So uh, just 9.0. It should not have any change. It's just uh, updating the constraint over here. Let's see what else is outdated. Um, this is the update we have to run. PSR 7, we need to update to 2.6.1. PHP unit, we can update to 10, but we can't right now. HTTP message to 2.0. We'll evaluate this along with PSR seven. So I think uh, other messages are fine. We let's let's get back to our rector. Adding rector again. PHP stand we updated, but we don't have any kind of like configuration in the uh, in, in the code base. So we are fine. We don't need to do anything else there. Uh, with uh, PHP stand, uh, 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 we're just using the level five. I, I think it was just an arbitrary level I had picked earlier. Okay, Rector, we're using 18.3, which I think is the latest we saw, right? Yeah, 18.3. So we are good with Rector, we are good with PHP stand. Uh, oh, we did commit the test. We should commit the test first. So, uh, test, uh, fix test. Actually, it's not that great of a name, right? You know, I'm going to amend it fix uh, parameter name in test yeah that, that's better so i'll push this and i'll let github actions run this and see what happens meanwhile um, uh, i'll also commit changes for uh, php stand update and php unit update right that's the two updates i added oh rector as well yeah Actually, um, you know, I want to keep rector in a separate commit. So I'm going to remove rector again. <laughs> yeah. It's all care, so it'll be quick, quite quick. Don't worry about it. Just verifying what's in composer JSON again. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, uh, we actually need only one of them, one of the changes. We just need this. Uh, we don't want this change right now. We'll add it when we add the rector changes. I've explained in previous videos that I'm a big fan of uh, uh, atomic commits. So commits which actually, which are completely isolated. You know, it just does one thing at a time. So if we see right now, our index only contains the change related to PHP stand and PHP unit, which is fair. So um, I'm going to say update PHP stand. PHP unit, we're not doing anything. It's like we're tightening the version constraint. That's all. So uh, let's write about it. Also, tighten version constraint for PHP unit and push this. Okay. So we are getting somewhere now. Um, let's add rector again. It'll do its thing. We can just go and take a look at what we need to do next. Also, I want to see the what happened to the tests. It's still failing. Oh, it's failing at validation at stage itself. Okay, we should really fix that first. Ah. It's this is the exercise, right? <laughs> okay, so we have to use uh, GPL 2.0 or later. I'll use that as my license. And where is GPL? Yeah. Okay, it's fine now. So let me add, uh, again, I just want to add one change. Yes, I don't want to add rector yet. So no to both of these. And uh, fix license name in composer all right so this will at least take us past the composer validate command and we'll see now failures in maybe in other things like maybe in php stand we'll see failures deprecations will be caught by php stand so we'll see the failures there right um 
yeah so let's try to address the deprecations right now this is also bothering me i'm just going to add this to git ignore so we have uh, git ignore and uh, i'm going to add it over here it's you know it, it's been so many years that like these small things here and there there are a lot of them right now so i'm updating git ignore so now it will stop bothering me the only there is you can see it's only composer.json that's the only thing i'll push it later let me let me make some headway with uh, rector first so um yeah we will probably see some other kind of errors right now you know yeah so php cs can actually report a lot of errors actually you know before we start fixing things with rector we can fix all of this with uh, php cbf uh, and it's already a part of our command php cbf okay it still it says it fixed the errors but then it says it still returned an error code don't know why let's see the changes I don't want composer JSON changes right now, but uh, I'm seeing that it's mainly removed blank lines in all the files. Um, I'm being very quick over here because you can see it's only changes in black lines. Let me kind of uh, make this little smaller so that it's easier to read. I should really increase the size of this window. Oops, I don't have, yeah. So, um, yeah, you're seeing it's only like the, this was the only error. Okay. Uh, let's just commit all of these things. Uh, so these are all in SRC directory. I'm just going to add, uh, all of them. And, uh, the PHP CS errors. That's good enough, you know. Okay, now our CI should get past PHP CS errors and uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, meanwhile, we'll continue with Rector. So how do we use Rector? Uh, so first we have to create a Rector.php, right? So we'll run this command. It will create a Rector command. So yeah, generate it for me. Now we run the command and uh, it'll do the job. So Rector.php. So SRC and test two directories, yeah, and uh, define sets of rules. Inline character constructor default to property reactor. Um, that's really a PHP 8.2 feature, right? Or 8.1 feature. But still, let it be. Uh, let us see the changes and sets of rules. So this is, oops, this was, this was actually a comment. Yep. Why is it so hard? Yeah, I want to kind of like uh, go up to 74 or 80. I should go up to 80. And yeah, let's run rector again. Process uh, dot dash dash try run. I think that's the command that my history is telling me should be correct. Let's see. 4300. That's weird. I don't have that many files. Yeah, both SRC and tests combined. I don't have that many files. Let's see what it comes back with. Meanwhile, what's with my tests? Oh, cute. Oh, no, failed. Oh, it passed on 8.0. Surprise. <laughs> okay, that's uh, weird. So let's, what's failing on 8.1? Yeah, so on 8.1, we have this, um, um this the de de deprecations that we are seeing the return return types uh, we have to fix those uh, th uh, you know those and um, like i said i'm hoping rector will help us over here what changes is it making so far i'm not seeing any changes oh no i'm doing a dry run so i won't really see changes that's correct so let's wait it's taking its time i'm seeing my cpu usage is just Flying. Yeah. 
PPU temperature is 100 degrees. Okay, come on. Just 15 more, whatever this is, files or... I don't know what this is, uh, like I said. Maybe it's rules, maybe it's tokens. Like, not tokens exactly, but... Uh... Okay, why is it working with vendor data? Oh, I guess I gave dot, that's why. So it's actually... You know, I mean, it should just work with the SRC and test files. Uh, let's look at the documentation again. Yeah, I... Yeah, I can... Okay, I... I thought it'll still apply the rules, uh, but I guess not. Um, let's just run with process. So five, five lines, uh, you know. So it's not changing much. It's certainly not changing the um oh no it's adding return types for some of them right colon void we see over here but not for everything yeah it's making this okay so this was the change it added so uh which version of php added this um constructor promotion is it it's called constructor promotion forget it forgetting it property promotion here yeah. php 8 okay so php 8 has added this i am completely comfortable increasing the minimum php version to 8.0 by the way uh which means that i'm actually going to move up to 8.1 and uh rerun this 45 files change I don't know why it's doing like JSON decode. Does it matter? It's adding types, it's changing a few other things, which are all nice things, but um, I don't think it's going to address our deprecations. So let me just stick to 8.0. The changes are fine you know i mean they won't break anything at least with constructor promotion and all of that one thing that we need to do is update our php constraint we need to make it 8.0 now because now we are using an 8.0 feature which makes sense you know so we should let's run rector again just to be sure okay rector is done I'm going to commit these changes. Add rector and process changes for PHP 8.0. And I'm going to push it. I need to now look at what's the problem. What, what else fails in our tests now? I'm thinking I'll probably make this a two-part video as well because i'm hitting 36 minutes and uh, i think it's quite enough right for one video but we'll just wait for this test to run and see what errors we see further hopefully 8.0 will still okay 8.0 is actually now throwing errors <laughs> it used to work and it's throwing errors right now so 8.1 also i'm pretty sure it'll throw errors it might turn out that we might have to kind of deal with this manually. But we are at a good point right now. At least we are, you know, we have like a higher level of uh, uh, automation. And um, I'm not going to make a release yet because it's still like the main problem is still not fixed. So we're good with where we are right now. We will, uh, let me see, you know, I just want to make sure the other thing, uh, the packages is getting updated. Yeah, uh, yeah, 2.x, it's coming in 2023, 9.15. Uh, that's today, yeah. So I think with that, I'm going to call it a day for now. I'm going to continue with this uh, at another time. So until then, I, I hope this was useful so far, but I know that still the main thing is uh, still pending. But again, it's it's more in the process rather than the result. That, that's the point of these videos anyway. So uh, like I said, I, I hope this has been useful. And you have a good day.